So as I speak today, August 9th, is the 50th anniversary of President Nixon's resignation. I think today wouldn't have been forced from office. The standards are looser, but life is all about timing, as Nixon well knew. We also, this weekend, turned to the book of Deuteronomy in synagogues around the world. The Torah reading teaches that we have obligations that are maybe higher than presidential operatives have. Moshe says in the first chapter of Deuteronomy that He's going to appoint judges to serve beneath him uh, and says that I instruct these judges uh, that um, that um, you should hear out, that judges should hear, listen, shema, um, what, what the difficulty is between litigants, literally between brothers, um, and judge with equity between each person and their brother, or that between a brother and a stranger, meaning same standard of justice for people who are residents and people who are foreigners, those who are well-established in the society and those who are vulnerable. And says, uh, that you shouldn't specially recognize a face in judgment, meaning like, don't don't judge more favorably to people who are on your side, who are friends with you, who you know, um, or kikatan uh, kikado, uh, that the same for the smaller to the great, or for the richer to the poor. You're to hear them out. Don't be in fear of any person. The It's a command not to favor the rich because you want to curry favor with them, or judge in favor of the poor just because you feel sorry for them, or defer to the powerful or to the small. Judge each case fairly, meaning not based on whether or not you feel sorry or want to curry favor with the litigant, but just on the facts of what's before you. The medieval commentator Bahor Shore even suggests that litigants should change clothes and come dress in common clothes so a judge can't tell the difference between the rich and the poor, lest they judge you know, if they're leaning towards want to curry favor with the rich or they feel too sorry for the poor, that everyone should be held to a common standard of justice. I say this part because we live now in a time when people tend to want to defend their own teams, defend the side that I like, attack the other side, that leads to the sort of moral justifications that lead to big things like presidential scandals or to more common things like misjudgments in everyday life. And the Torah tells us to have principles that go beyond who we like and that we can judge everyone by a fair standard, not based on whether we want to impress them or whether or not we feel sorry for them, but principles and that our morality can flow from that and our actions in the world. And we can assess, assess everyone by fair standards and not by are they on my team or are they not. Shabbat Shalom.